when Rick Scott was elected from uh, Massachusetts, it was wow. I mean, even ask the president not to um, take a certain issue to the vote because he wants to put his you know, stamp on it. He wants to make a contribution, as it were. And it looked as if this uh, Scott was, um, you know, one of the brightest guys out there and uh, the best in Massachusetts. But here comes this lady to overtake him and dethrone him. And I think his election was just uh, because the Kennedy family hadn't, uh, or the folks, the Democrats in Massachusetts hadn't um, had a, a proper strategy in that they tried to remain for the Kennedy office. They put somebody who had no intentions of running. So had they put somebody who would have run, it might have made a difference. And so, um, you know, Scott won a little fly by night race there and so on, and uh, he felt like, man, I'm genius, I'm presidential material. And the Republicans were excited to have him on board and so on. But just four years after, he has to go. Because um, basically, uh, I haven't heard much about him. I don't know if he wrote any legislation. I don't know what his career is, whether he's an attorney or not. But um, we had some saucy pictures of him in college days and so on. And um, I'm not sure what the issues were in uh, Massachusetts, but this lady here just sneaked up and uh, took him off. Um, Congress. And so um, there we go. And uh, the Congress would be without Scott. And um, we'll see how things will go, but it don't seem as though he made a big difference uh, in the Congress.